Hey everyone, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash the TP-Link Archer C7, which is also known as the AC1750 router, onto any other firmware that is not the stock firmware. If you've tried to flash to anything else, such as DDWRT, OpenWRT, Letty, or any number of other open source firmwares that you might be trying to put on there, you've very likely gotten the error, which is error code 18005. Upgrade unsuccessful because the version of the upgraded file was incorrect. Please check the file name. There are many different places online that say all these different processes of how to get this actually flashed. Some include suggesting opening up the router, getting to the serial ports on the main board, and then actually running through the serial port to upgrade the firmware. But this video is not that. It is actually just as easy as uploading a different firmware to the router itself. So I'll be showing you the entire process of how to do that. All you'll need for this is the router itself. You'll need a computer as well as an ethernet cable to connect to the router. But other than that, it's actually very easy. All right, so now that we have moved into the firmware flashing portion of the video, like I mentioned, all you'll need is a ethernet cable. So all you gotta do is plug this right into one of the LAN ports on the router, which is typically yellow. Doesn't matter which one, just plug it in. You cannot connect to Wi-Fi. You will need to be connected directly in. So just make sure you've got that cable. Then plug the other end, of course, into your computer and wait for your computer to obtain a DHCP address. Once it has done that, the router is accessible by default for a TP-Link router at 192.168.0.1. So once you get to here, the default login is admin, admin. And from in here, first of all, just take a look at this interface. This is what I'm talking about. It's very limited in what it allows you to actually do and it's very outdated. And if you go to the status and take a look here at the firmware version, this is running version 3.15.3, .3, which is build 18.0.1.1.4. And when we reference that on the um, TP-Link website here, this for the US V2 version of this router is the newest version of the firmware that you can get, the 18.0.1.1.4. So this does have the fix for the WPA2 security vulnerability, but I mean, this was last updated in May of 2018. So for obvious reasons here, you can tell why I would wanna go ahead and update this to DDWRT. In order to show you the issue that I'm talking about here, you're likely going to DDWRT and you search for your router and then you choose your version and you click on the factory image. So I'll download that. And after downloading that, you should just be able to go and plug that right into the firmware and upgrade, right? Well, no, it does not work that easily. So after downloading that firmware, if you go right back into the router interface, go to system tools, firmware upgrade, and choose the file. I'm gonna choose this factory to DDWRT. Click upgrade, click okay. And we sit here and we get the error 18005. Upgrade unsuccessfully because the version of the upgraded file was incorrect. Please check the file name. I've read a lot of different places that you can go ahead and just rename the file. And that usually helps. So if you name it to something like just factory.bin and then you try that. A lot of people have had success that way. So I tried that. Click upgrade. Okay. But even then, you still get the same error. So this is the error that we are trying to fix right here. So like I just mentioned, we are running version 18.0.1.1.4. So what we actually need to get onto is the oldest version that is listed on the TP-Link website. I will be leaving a Google Drive link down below that I'm hosting that will have all of the firmwares in it that I'm using in this video. So whether you're on 18.0.1.1.4 or you're on the oldest, which is 16.0.7.1.9, just in case TP-Link decides to go and get rid of these firmwares at whatever point in time, we'll be leaving those to download down in a Google Drive down below. So anyways, the step you need to take now is you need to actually go and download this oldest version here on the TP-Link website, which is 16.0.7.1.9. The reason for this is because this was the oldest firmware that allows you to go and downgrade to another one. It actually says here that it does not allow that. It says the US firmware was specialized for FCC certification and can't be downgraded to other versions. Please click here for choosing a region and selecting the most suitable firmware version to upgrade. But that's not totally true because you actually can downgrade from that one. So anyways, let's download that. So the file that actually gets downloaded here is a zip file. So make sure you unzip that. And once that's unzipped, you'll get a folder 
that contains the bin file that is made for this firmware upgrade. So this is the Archer C7 V2 English US 3.15.1 upboot 160719. Just make sure you've got that. Once you've got that unzipped, go back to the router interface, system tools, firmware upgrade, and then we're going to choose the file right from that folder and open that right on up and upgrade. This will then go and downgrade the router to that 160719 firmware, which will then allow us to go directly to DDWRT through another firmware. Once you've went ahead and the firmware has upgraded successfully and you've gotten to this point right here, you can go right ahead and move on to step number two, which is to head over and download this factory to ddwrt-us.bin from R28598. And just a huge shout out really quick to wolftech.com. This is actually where I figured out this entire process that I'm walking you through here. So if you would prefer to see a up version of this, I will be leaving a link to that down below and just to give credit where credit is due. So thanks to them for that. But anyways, download this file right here. This is the one that actually allows you to go right into DDWRT. This one was made quite a while back. It is an old, old version of DDWRT, but this will allow you to go and get the firmware upgraded without getting the error because this firmware version was actually signed for a while as a valid firmware that apparently looked like it was a TP-Link firmware, even though it's DDWRT. So once you go back into the router interface, you will have to log in once again. But from here, when we check the status, you'll see that we are now on 160719 build, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So we'll go now to system tools and go down to that firmware upgrade once again, choose the file. And this time we are going to choose the file which is called the factory to ddwrt-us.bin. Like I said, this is our key into getting out of the TP-Link firmware. So once we open this one, click upgrade, click OK, and this will begin to go and run the firmware upgrade just like before. It will not throw up the error, at least hopefully. If you happen to see an error while you're doing this yourself, some people have had um, success with using the unlocalized firmware from the same source. This one, what it means by that is that it isn't built specifically for US routers. So if you use the unlocalized firmware, you may have success there. So once it's rebooted and when you see your IP address change, then that's when you know that you've successfully upgraded actually to DDWRT. So let's just give it a couple minutes and I'll get back to you once it's been upgraded. So there we go, and it actually appears that the router remembers my prior configurations from when I changed the IP address myself. So let's just take a look here. This usually would be 192.168.1.1 rather than 10.0.0.1, but let's just take a look here real quick, and there we go. We are now into DDWRT, which is great. Usually when you are brought to this for the first time, it will go and prompt you to set an administrator password, but for me, apparently it has not because it remembers what I had before. So anyways, now that we are into here, after you've set the administrator password, it really does not matter what you set it to, although you clearly should set it to something you'll remember because if you have to ever go and reflash, then you will want to remember the password that you set. So anyways, now that we're in here, this is what DDWRT looks like. This is an old version of it though, so we will want to go and upgrade it to a newer version, but if you're somebody who needs to go and upgrade from the factory firmware to a other firmware such as OpenWRT or even DDWRT itself rather than a DDWRT to DDWRT upgrade, then what you'll need to do is go ahead and download this RAR file from this DDWRT forum thread, which is this one right here. And when you search for this firmware, it is this one right here. However, so you don't have to go ahead and actually sign up for a DDWRT account and log in and all that crap. I will be uploading this firmware as well to the Google Drive link that I'll be leaving down below. So this is what you can go ahead and use. And this is one of the very first firmware versions that was available for this router when it first came out. So when you run this firmware upgrade, the Archer C7 V2 underscore 
webrevert.rar. Once you've downloaded this file and on rard it or on archived it, then you can go ahead and it'll look just like this right here and it'll be a .bin file once again. So from this DDWRT interface, all you'll have to do is go to administration, firmware upgrade, and then plug that file into right here. And this will take you back to a TP-Link firmware version, but it's a very old firmware version that was before they put in that FCC blocking, so then you can't actually upgrade to a different firmware yourself. So from there, you can then go from stock to whatever other firmware you want. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm sticking to DDWRT. You can actually just do an in-place web upgrade. So all I'll have to do is go back to DDWRT.com and download this DDWRT web upgrade. And once that file from DDWRT is downloaded, all you have to do is go into that administration, like I was already saying, choose the file, and it is this one right here, tp-link underscore archer dash c7 dash v2 dot bin, open and upgrade. This will do an in-place upgrade and it will go from this DDWRT version three um, all the way up to the most recent one, which would be v3 beta, but it's a different build number. And that one was released in 2020 rather than 2015. And just like that, we are now on a November 2020 build of DDWRT. Isn't that beautiful? So, like I said, this actually already remembered all of my configuration information that I got before when I did this the first time before making this video. So, that's pretty cool to know that if you go and happen to downgrade to the other TP-Link stock firmware, it should save your configuration. It saved everything down to the passwords, the network Wi-Fi names, as well as even the MAC address spoofs that I went for for these interfaces. So that's pretty cool to know. So with that said, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Once again, thank you to the writer of wolftech.com. That was the lifesaver for me as far as getting this router updated. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below as well as subscribing for future videos like this. Also, you can check out some of my other videos by clicking right over there, up there for my last one or down there for some random one. I will say I don't usually make videos like this, but if you enjoy tech videos, then this may be the channel for you. So with that said, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.